Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. It's a bit of a personal video this one, um, I just wanted to um, um, let everyone know about um, what's happened to Sarah. Now, as you're probably well aware, um, we was away for last weekend um, and uh, we was in a lovely little um, caravan and motorhome site in Slimford, um, which is uh, near Horsham in West Sussex. Um, we got there on the Friday, I think it was about two o'clock. Um, got all set, set up, we were traveling really light, we didn't have a lot of stuff with us, so it was really easy, we got, got all set up, I think it was in, within the hour. Um, sat down and done all our bits and pieces and that. And uh, proceeded to have, you know, a really nice uh, Friday evening. Sarah said that she'd had a, a palpitations with her heart. Um, basically what it is is that um, Sarah some years ago uh, had a, uh, what they call a heart ablation, which is basically where they go into all four ventricles of the heart uh, and they burn the nerve endings away in the heart while you're sort of semi-conscious. Um, the reason why they do that is that with Sarah, you have uh, nerve endings that pulse, obviously, to make your heart beat. With Sarah, she had too many. So her heart then, at, you know, back about 15 years ago, um, was beating at about, I think it was something like nearly 185 to nearly 200 beats a minute. So consequently, she um, needed to have this operation done, which is basically, like I said, to burn the nerve endings away. So there wasn't so many of the nerve endings which weren't uh, interfering with each other. So that was all done, it was great, worked well. In fact, her heart went from, uh, it was between 185 to 200 beats, uh, beats a minute. And she was down to, I think it was between 47 to 62 beats a minute, depending on what she was doing. So that's about average, uh, you know, and obviously <clears throat> as exercise kicks in and stuff like that, then, you know, your heart um, beats a little faster. Um, this weekend, Sarah's heart started palpitating, you know, she was getting palpitations. Um, so she said she didn't feel very well. Um, and Sarah wears one of these smart watches, which basically has got the heart monitor on it. Excuse the shaking of the camera. I'm on a really rubbish mount. Um, so she was on a heart, uh, as the heart monitor on her, on her watch. Um, and it was 144, I think it was, beats on Friday. Which is no good for anyone. So we kept an eye on it. Uh, and then Sunday, uh, the last e uh, morning, Sunday morning, about three o'clock in the morning, uh, Sarah woke me up, uh, basically telling me that, you know, she needed to go to the hospital. So, okay, fine. We got dressed, um, got in the car, left the caravan, uh, and because we was in Slimfold, it's not too far from where we live. So we put Sally in the car, uh, took her home, put her in a cage uh, and left for the uh, hospital. Got to the hospital uh, and that's where Sarah's been ever since. So, her heart is beating at 147, 150 beats a minute and it's still been doing that up until this day today. Um, <clears throat> I've just spoken to Sarah. She's um, been given uh, a tablet for a overactive thyroid. So what they think is, is that the heart ablation that she had, that's still working. Because what they say is, is that that can last for up to 15 years. Could go longer. But because she's got this overactive thyroid, what they think is, is that, and the specialist has looked at Sarah's notes, what they think is, is that the thyroid is having a detrimental effect on her heartbeat. So, what, basically what they said is, and she put it in simpleton terms, uh, was that if we take the thyroid out, put it in the bin, problem solved. If it is the thyroid. If it isn't, we'll give you this tablet, and then hopefully that'll reduce your heartbeat, 
and then no need to remove the thyroid, hopefully. So, like I say, I have spoke to Sarah this morning. She seems pretty up. She was waiting for the doctors to come round. She's on a constant heart monitor so that they can obviously monitor her heartbeat. What they said is, is that if her heart carries on the way it is, her heart will get so tired that it will give up. So we don't want that. Um, so yeah, so we're basically looking now at um, this tablet to do what it should do. Sarah takes, I think, and I'm probably wrong here, but it's in excess of about 14 tablets a day for one thing and another. So they've basically reduced her intake of her tablets by half. Um, and give her this one tablet, plus the other ones that she does need. Um, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all work. If it doesn't, then we're back to the drawing board. Anyway, so yeah, so long shot is is that Sarah is looking to, um, she's actually, you know, gonna be in for a couple of more days yet. Mr. Dustcart getting in the way. <laughs> Everyone's getting in my way today. So yeah, so she's looking to be in there a couple of more days yet. Uh, I've just been back down to the caravan, sort the caravan out because as you can expect, I left it in a bit of a mess. I literally just dropped Sarah off at the, um, uh, at the hospital, make sure she was comfortable, make sure she was in good hands, and left. Went back to the caravan uh, and got the caravan all buttoned up and ready to move by half past 10. Um, the wardens didn't know what was going on because I did tell them, and they said, should have phoned up, caravan could have just stopped there, it's not a problem. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I wanted to get it all moved, so it was all moved. Um, literally just shoved all stuff in the caravan. So I've just been up there just to uh, remove some stuff that I know Sarah needs. So yeah, so we've got that in the car now, I'm looking at it here. So anyway, I'm gonna go in the house now, I'm gonna go and get some other bits and pieces that Sarah's uh, demanding that she has. And uh, we're gonna go up and see Sarah, two till eight, her visiting rights are. So uh, yeah, we'll go and do that. Anyway, I thought I'd just let you know what's happening with Sarah. And uh, yeah, it's uh, everyone keeps saying to me, how are you, Paul? Uh, I'm absolutely fine. I, you know, I've, my work knows what I'm doing. Uh, they know what's gone on, uh, and they, you know, they said, you know, whatever it takes. So, you know, um, they are a good company to work for, and uh, you know, I've only been there five minutes, and already they're, uh, you know, they've got my back. So that's good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you very, very soon in the next one.